Exercise We would like to share a simple exercise that invites each aspect to speak its truth. Begin by making a list of 10 questions that relate to your own life. Next to each question write the name of each of your human aspects. Let yourself go deeply into feeling the child, adult, etc., and write how they each feel about each question. Allow your aspects to speak its truth. Don't judge the feelings. You might be surprised to see who has been controlling your life behind these closed doors. How do we resolve this situation? How do these conditioned aspects learn to coexist and trust the unlimited presence of your soul? We have suggested that you don't take your soul's nature at face value. Put it to the test. Dump all the issues that have been expressed by each one of these aspects at the feet of your soul. Put the unlimited, unconditional nature of your soul to work and witness how this house divided becomes whole again. In a blink of an eye? Of course not. That would deny your ability to integrate this new relationship. It will ask of your child, adolescent, and adult to surrender its agendas. Dumping your issues at the feet of your soul doesn't mean your soul will now fulfill all the unfulfilled agendas. Each of these aspects will, over time, learn to trust in the soul the more you acknowledge how they are feeling. The more you rely on the thoughts of your soul and how it feels. When was the last time you truly experienced joy, bliss, and ecstasy? Now. How does your soul feel about your life? Are you beginning to experience an enormous pressure to allow change in your life by acting on new desires? Are you beginning to feel an unexpected excitement for living your life with passion? Are you beginning to spend unproductive moments allowing yourself to daydream and imagine new possibilities for your future? Dreaming of a fulfilled life? The thoughts from your soul must also be acknowledged and for them to become real, they must be acted on. The presence of your soul can take your human nature's breath away. Its capacity to resolve polarized issues is truly amazing. Its ability to imagine potentials into manifestation is astounding. Change happens very quickly when you stop relying on the agendas of your child, adolescent, and adult. We would say it happens so quickly that your human aspects will label it as being magic. The vast majority of humanity lives their entire life on earth having never tasted the presence of their soul as an adult. The vast majority of spiritual seekers want more from life but never allow the thoughts and feelings from their soul to become their life. All of your religions were inspired by people just like you that allowed their soul to become the head of their household. That relationship appears so radically different from a house divided that you have called these souls ascended masters. We have to laugh for all of us are still here, inviting you to consciously participate in a relationship that is very symbolic for how you relate to the many aspects of your own soul. They are interconnected. Every time you invite your human aspects to come sit together, your invitation becomes interdimensional. We have been speaking of this grand reunion for some time and for many of you that is happening as we speak. In this new relationship, the child within you learns to trust in the nurturing qualities of your soul and stops projecting that need into your intimate relationships. Over time, the child grows into the teenager that you honor with your own ritual. The adolescent learns to trust in the parenting abilities of your soul and stops projecting its unfulfilled desires into your life, expecting others to play the role of its parent. It discovers that your soul is glad to play the role but not as a victim. It offers a refreshing, direct and honest approach to this new relationship. Over time, it grows into an adult and begins to participate in life that isn't so rigid. The adult begins to see the folly in all of the roles it has played and over time grows into becoming the soul's lover. The roommates in your house become best friends because you acknowledged their presence, accepted their consciousness and allowed the presence of your soul to become the head of your household. You become the living model for unity consciousness demonstrating that complete opposites can coexist. The human angel becomes just that, the conditioned and unconditional living side by side. It is time dear human to take ownership of your thoughts. Not by denying the rightful place of your human aspects or allowing them to control your life. The thoughts of your soul don't demand attention, they embrace a new and profound passion for living. Demonstrate to yourself the power of love and its all-encompassing nature. You are so close to tasting the very fruits you desire. Dear human aspects, 
now would be a very good time to release your attachment to your agendas. Dump all of your issues at the feet of the soul. The soul won't trip, it knows better, it just leaps over them and keeps on walking. Each and every time you embrace your human aspects with the presence of your soul, you also invite fragments of your soul to return to their core. An intergalactic family reunion that now meets on a regular basis in your five-bedroom house to celebrate a new life. You are loved more than you know. All our blessings, Archangel Michael.